This is Rowan, and today we are going to talk about installing this Noctua NHL9I17XX Low Profile Cooler. Yeah, and uh, this is the cooler that Mr. R and I just installed on a brand new PC we're putting together, so... Yeah, it's um, quite a big project, and this is just a little part, but we had a lot of um, issues with it, so I figured we should talk about it. Okay, here we are looking at the motherboard, and uh, it is a bit of a clutter, but you can see we have the very detailed instructions on how to install this Noctua. Um, what we need to do is figure out how to actually install this thing. Now, this is the back of the motherboard. You can see there's no bracket here. It's kind of hard to have a bracket on this cooler. Here, let's take a look at this cooler. You can see that um, it's got connectors here where we can uh, thread in some screws, but... Um, the cooler is sitting in the way of the screws so we have to screw this in from behind which shouldn't be that hard except for the fact that um, motherboards are expensive and the last thing you want to do is get you know paste everywhere and uh, possibly drop it and yeah it, it's one of those Juggling very expensive eggs. Maybe Fabergé eggs. Yeah. So, let's move forward. But, here we go. So, the first thing. We gotta have the screws in the back. And we gotta have the cooler in the front. Um, this is dry fitting. This is just checking. Then This is the goal. Get that pin. And this cooler lined up like this and on there on that plate yay so how are we going to do this well first we have to put the equipment in the right place so what have we done here we moved the motherboard off to the side of the box so that we can reach underneath it and uh, get a screw up to uh, where we need it to be. Yes, Mr. R is gesticulating a lot about needing to get this screw up there. And if he lets go of the screw, it's just going to drop. So, we're getting out our cryonaut because even though Noctua comes with its own um, probably wonderful paste, we, we like cryonaut. We've used this on more than a few other pieces of equipment, like the PlayStation 4, and found it works very well. So, we just made a glob about the size of a pea. Now we're going to put the Noctua onto the box. <laughs> and there we go. We now have contact. Yay. And... Okay. Now, we're trying to thread this screw from underneath. Now, we could have just picked up this board and um, held the fan in place. But again, like I said, motherboards are not cheap. And uh, the last thing I want to do is have a Butterfinger moment. <laughs> it would cost a lot of Butterfingers to replace this motherboard. And Mr. R is slowly threading this in very carefully. <laughs> and we move on to the second screw. We're very carefully threading that in. We don't want to... We don't want to gouge up any of the traces on the back. We don't want to make a big mess. And looks like we might be getting it. 
Ah, we're very close. This is a patience thing. I'm, I'm sure anybody who has put together a motherboard is probably looking at this going, oh my God, just get this done. But um, this is the first motherboard we've actually put um, into a computer. Um, we've done lots of other little things. So we're pretty comfortable around motherboards, but this is a very expensive piece of equipment. And um, yeah, we're not going back to the old computer at this point. So we got to get this right. Got to get it right the first time. So now it occurs to us that now that we've got two pins in, it'll hold itself in place. Yay, now things get easier. If you are brave, I, and we, I've seen too many times where being brave leads to having a big mess everywhere. So now we're gently hand tightening these well, until they actually catch. And now one, two, three, one, two, three, four. See, we're at it's a square, so it's difficult, but we're always trying to go diagonals and tightening down very gently uh, with just a few turns going opposite corners each time. What this does is um, spreads the paste more evenly and make sure that we don't put any torque um, on any one section and... We don't put too much torque on that section. So again, let's make sure that we are putting torque in opposite corners and making the uh, tension go up evenly. Yep, and we're just gonna keep doing this. One, two, three, four. Yep, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, very close. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is going to take some time, so we'll probably fast forward through this, but you shouldn't. You should take your time. I mean, it's only a $200 CPU and, you know, another $200 motherboard and a $40 um, cooler. I mean, that's nothing, right? You could just throw this out the window and go get a better one, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's cheap, so why, why take your time? Right. Now we're reading the manual, the whole one page again. Yeah, what does it say? All right, it says tighten it until it won't tighten anymore, but don't over tighten it. So here we are, giving final hand tightenings. Do not use a drill. Do not use a screwdriver gun here. You really want to know when it's stopping, not when it's blowing a hole into the threads. There's a moth. We hate moths. Oh, almost. Almost. Okay. So that's it. That right there. We hope you enjoyed wasting time with us today. And if you found this video helpful, entertaining, or educational, please leave a like, subscribe, or comment to get more videos like this. I hope to see you again real soon. So until next time, bye!